Hey what's up? Welcome to the Flutter Masterclass. My name is Bhargav and I'm going to be teaching you how to code apps with Flutter. If you don't already know, Flutter is a cross-platform framework, meaning we can create app for iOS, Android, and even web, as well as other platforms with just a one code base. Which is why I love Flutter so much. And this is the course that I wish I had when I first got started, so I condense everything you need to know into this playlist. I guarantee you, if you can go through this playlist, then you will be proficient enough app developer to start building on your own. Now, you don't need any developer programming experience at all to take this course. You can be a complete beginner as this course will start from very beginning, uh, going through very basic server programming fundamentals before jumping into Flutter itself. The only requirement is that you have Flutter installed on your computer and can open up a new project. If you can do that, then I will take care of the rest. So, this course is split into two parts. The first part is for a beginner level, just to show you the outline of what we are going to cover. We are just going to firstly start with the programming fundamentals and introductions, and then everything is a per, in the Flutter is a widget. So we'll start to learn about different widgets in the Flutter, and then I'll show you how to navigate between different screens, and then we have a very important idea of stateless versus stateful widgets. Next, we'll look at how to get the user's input uh, and how to get user's input and then we'll put all this together to create your own for first Flutter app, which is a to-do app. And then let's try building up more complex UIs like the sneaker shop app uh, that you can add items into the cart and stuff. So those are the topics in the beginner level and then once you have done with that, we are going to move on to the intermediate level. And for this one, the first topic is going to uh, just things. So for example, I show you how to use light mode and dark mode. Then we are going to move forward to state management as we get more screens and app modes and size. And then we have to look into some advanced UI by building up a minimal e-commerce app with a beautiful design. Like this. Uh, yeah, and then we have to update our programming concepts and understand null safety. Then we are going to start looking at the storing our data into the database. So we are start off with the offline database, meaning we are like device or local storage. So to demonstrate that storing database, uh, we will create a, a simple notes app as well as a habit tracker app. Yeah. And then uh, let's try like authenticate our user. So we are going to be using Firebase for this. And then let's store our data online using Firebase as well. So with this, we are going to create a chat app as well as a social media app for both dark mode and light mode. Yeah. And then a very, very important topic is here with the API to try and read data. So we are going to build things like weather apps and an MBA app. And then number nine, we are going to look at some notifications for iOS and Android. So, and since Flutter is a cross platform framework for number 10, we are going to look at some responsive designs for different screen sizes. Yeah. And uh, then let's have a look at something a little bit different. So let's create a like a music player app. And then we are just going to finish it off with some final thoughts. So that's the plan.